Now, folks, there you go. That was our special guest tonight, Emer Fox, and a song called Climb. And on the other end of the telephone, we do have Emer Fox. Hello, Emer. Hello there, Willie. Great to be on your show. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you on. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this all the week. I've been bragging about this. I've been telling all my friends. Ah, fair play to you. <laughs> yeah, you're um, Dublin-based. That's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm out in Malahide, out by the sea. Ah, oh, great. That's a nice scenic scenic spot it for, is. The, for the walk. It is, it is. Yeah, that's it. Um, I suppose our connection really would be Howard D. Crean. Correct, yes, Maybe. yes. I, um, Howard, Howard, as I was saying to you earlier before we went live, Howard has been uh, just a fantastic support. Um, and it's wonderful because I was only saying to him there a while back that when you're, when you're a songwriter, unless you have a huge network of people, it can be quite a solitary experience. Um, so, you know, when, when you meet people, and I have met some lovely people through the music, um, uh, Howard and Cathy, and Steve Martin, and there's just so, there's a lot of lot of really nice people on the Irish country music scene. Oh, there is indeed, as you say, uh, there's a community there that yeah, there's a circle, I suppose, and we all kind of know each other, I suppose, through the meeting up on different times of the year and yes, occasions. Yes, yes. But um, you're you're no stranger to you've been writing with many years, I believe. I have, yeah, I've been writing a long time, so. So I have, I'd have, as, uh, as uh, I, I read there one file that uh, Johnny Cash had this big folder of, 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 of songs. Now, I wouldn't profess to have songs as good as his, but I have my big folder and all the songs in it, and they're going back years. So if I get stuck for an idea, I can pull it, pull it out and have a, have a rummage through and see if I can get some inspiration. <laughs> ah, that's great, because it's, some, it's great to keep records like that, because you're, yeah, you're yeah. Never, never going to be caught short for ideas. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, I do that as well. I keep um, copy books of stuff, and you'd be thinking, yeah. "What was I thinking back then?" You know, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and and it's it's but what's great now with with particularly with mobile phones. I don't know what I wasn't really showing my age now, but before they were around, I had the old little portable cassette player. And you'd have it in your pocket, and I'd be going into work, and you'd be trying to record something, or if an idea came to you, you'd be taking out little bits of paper and scribbling down the lyrics and putting them back in your pocket. So I probably looked a bit demented going along on the bus into work at times. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's it. But the people who knew you probably said there's something good on the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, but you, um, I suppose you have reached good heights which is which are rising you've got shortlisted there in 2009 for eurovision Th that's right that was that was that was an interesting experience um that was the year that dervish um uh, represented ireland and for me it was an interesting uh, uh development because it was the first time i had i was going to try and write a song that i was sort of tailoring to somebody else's style as opposed to my own so I, mean, I suppose if these are things like um, songwriters that work for publishing houses and that would be well used to doing that, whereas up to that point, I was sort of writing a song that might just come into my head and, I'd, and a lot of it would be ballad or country. Whereas on that occasion, I was trying to tailor a song specifically for, uh, for Dervish that I thought they might like to sing that would suit their style and also for what was going on in Eurovision at the time. So it was a great um, experience for me. Uh, to, you know, to, to go down that road because it just, it helps to stretch you a little bit, uh, imaginatively wise, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. It gives you another challenge, I suppose, to raise exactly, to. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it got, I think when I, so when I say shortlisted now, I think it got to 33. It didn't get down to the six that get performed. But I was very excited and, um, I, I have, I still have my email from, Fidelma, I can't think of her surname now. She was the lady who was in RTE, um, who would contact the contestants. Um, she was in the light entertainment department. I think she ran that uh, at the time. Um, so I, I was that was quite exciting getting that email. So ah, oh, very good, very good. <laughs> yeah. But after that, then I'm just reading your notes. It's the press release yes. that we all get as DJs. But um, yeah, you've done well in the UK as well. Songwriting? Yes, the, yeah, the songwriting uh, uh, competition. And I suppose really that just kind of, uh, do, doing these, I mean, I'm sure there are lots of people enter them, but it's great because they give you back, 
you get a, a sort of a scoring back and it kind of is like a little barometer it helps you it helps to keep you fresh and keep you moving you know keep you keep you sort of going along rather than you know sort of stay in put you know you keep you keep hopefully you keep developing um ah um, yeah exactly that way. as you say you get to see modern trends and you're keeping up with those and yes absolutely yeah. absolutely and then when you when when particularly uh, for the UK songwriting contest they'd have categories so even if yours didn't get if you got a specific scoring you could go in on the website and have a look and see well what was the what were they like the guys like that got maybe scored a bit higher than you and just see what they're doing um you know and and, and you know, you've always something to learn you know oh exactly there's always as you say you might you mightn't be too far from it, but a small little tweak here and there, maybe. Absolutely, yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. No, but um, and, uh, it, it's with the with the sort of the ballad and the country. There's kind of a nice crossover there too. So, you know, um, it, it, particularly on the Irish country, I, I, I notice sort of particularly on the radio stations, and and the guys like yourself, and and you play a great broad mix of 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 styles which is great you know which is very encouraging because it means you sort of think well i might fit in there somewhere yeah that's it you know we're we're all about the diversity and giving everybody a chance you know yes yes i suppose really you you help us as much as we help you you know and it's it's how we grow together i suppose as radio stations yeah yeah. well I, i think that's it that's so encouraging that the radio stations around the country um are so willing to take on, you know, uh, songs that that are the sort of are from unknown and unsigned people. It's it's it is great because it just helps to keep you going, you know. And it's like another little boost, and you say, "Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll keep going at this. That's Somebody it. wants to hear me." <laughs> That's it's just it's another platform, isn't it? It's great. Yeah, it is. It is. But it is. the um, your background, you have um, Irish music, kind of accordion. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, when we were small, uh, my dad um, uh, he started out when when I was only a baby, and he, I was only talking to dad about it today. Actually, he he plays the accordion, still does. He's he's in his early eighties now, but he still plays the accordion, and he has a lovely voice himself. But he brought reared us singing, so we learned uh, the, the usual songs like Edelweiss and things like that. Um, and f- I remember when I was about, I think I was about five or six, and he used to bring us along to charity events and we would sing at these events and there were hospital events and things. so we've been singing since we were quite small and he played the accordion and then when we were older then we sort of learned to play we took up the guitars and and i went to learn how to play the accordion for a while but it's a massive big instrument and it's very difficult to it's not exactly the most portable um uh, so I, I kind of went back to the guitar and uh, and used that really for the for the for the songwriting. But I know um, what you mean. yeah, there's a great love of, of music in our in our house at home. Ah, great stuff. Yeah, the accordion can be an awkward one if <laughs> if you're small, it's, it's, small it's like sure loud. <laughs> that's it. If you're small like myself, it's hard to look out from behind it at times. <laughs> That's often with the way I was about fourteen, I think, when when I was going for the for uh, the accordion lessons, and we'd we'd uh, we myself and my sister used to go into Walton's in town, and the guy who did the the lessons, he was on the top floor of this old house, and I used to have to lug this this uh, accordion on wheels up at those four flights of stairs to get <laughs> to up before we even started the lessons. <laughs> so that was a workout in itself. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Uh, they're, aren't they great memories to have, though? Ah, they are, totally. Oh, absolutely, they certainly are. And even back when I was a kid and we would do these shows, we met such interesting people, other singers and all ages, and there were uh, comedians who were on the circuit doing the cabaret shows, and they'd give up their time and come along. And they, we'd see these guys in action where, for, as small kids, you'd never have normally got to see people uh, performing at that level, so uh, so it was it's, yeah, it's, it's some great memories I have to say. Ah, great stuff. And um, around, do you gig at the moment, Emer? Around the city? no, no, I, I haven't done that in a in in a long time. But I might get back into it. I'm kind of building up my my uh, my own songs in terms of of uh, professional recordings. Right, and sure. um, in the short, the last short while now, 
um, I have I was invited to join the Irish um, uh, Songwriters Guild, um, which is a fantastic organisation, and it, it's run by Sean Andrew Murray and Peter Ware. And what they're doing is they are trying to promote um, songwriters and see if they can help them to progress their careers. And and I have I have to say personally. They, they have been a uh, fantastic support for me uh, and I really I really feel like they have my corner and they're helping me to develop my, my songs. That's right. They are good lads. They are indeed. Um, Sean Murray is totally dedicated and, yeah, it's a great honour to be in that circle. It is. Yeah. I, was, I was so thrilled now, I have to say. And it's, you feel like you're part of a home. As I said, I mentioned earlier, it, 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 it has been in the past for me quite a solitary thing. I still enjoy doing it. That, that, that doesn't, it doesn't really uh, stop you. But, but it is lovely to feel that you're part of a, a community of people who have the same interests and the same passion as yourself. Yeah, it sure does. It does indeed, yeah. No, um, that is a nice one to have, the International Songwriters Guild, Irish and yes. International. Yeah. Um, I suppose um, you're building, I suppose, your recording career really and uh, we'll uh, but well, that's, yeah that's 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 what it but, but it, it feels like that it's kind of snuck up on me if you like right, uh, yeah. but when you have i have i have had two songs now produced by peter ware um because before that i was sort of doing my own stuff but when you hear how a real professional does it you know you, if, if you really if you really feel inspired to oh maybe i'll try another one now and i have a few more here that I'm, I'm working on. We had that dreaded flu all over Christmas and uh, I couldn't sing a note for about three weeks. So I, I, right. I, I'm really getting getting uh, itchy to start back at the, at the, at the recording again. So, um, so, so that's, that's, it's great to, to, to have that on the, on the to-do list. Ah, that is great. But as I say, with the recording career, with the success of that, there may be tours follow. And appearances, you know, so yeah, that would be that would be fantastic. And it's it's it, I was talking to um, Muriel Day uh, back in October. We went up for Malcolm, her her manager, um, oh, yeah. uh, invited a load of us up to uh, to Tyrone to her video shoots. Oh, that and, was a great day. And I had been chatting with Muriel online before that on Facebook, but I got to meet her then uh, before we. We, we did the video shoot and, and she is just the, the nicest person and she had said to me because uh, she'd been listening to a few of my tunes and she said Emer, you're not out singing and I said well I haven't been and she said now in the new year Emer. <laughs> that's it yeah ah uh, she's a lovely lady she was on with me recently only about three, three weeks ago yeah and yeah her new album is fantastic it is, it is, and she was telling us that the fun they had in the making of the video was great with Derek and Aidan, and it was, it was, yeah. it was brilliant. Yeah, it was brilliant. Derek and Aidan decided at one stage to climb up onto the bar. <laughs> That's right. We, we see that. We see all the evidence. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. No, that is. Um, it's great to be involved in a day like that as well because it's good networking and. A good yes, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. And again, like I say, I had not um, met uh, these people before, and honestly, it's where within a half an hour, it's where I'd known them all my life. They were just so nice. Yeah, that's isn't that is the lovely thing about Facebook and Twitter? You actually yeah. Well, this is it. People get out about the negative side of it, but um, when it's when it, when when you know when when you when you have the right people talking to you. That's you, you, right. You, you know, it can be a very positive experience. When it's used in the right way, as I say, it's, yeah, you know. exactly. It's like there, um, I've never met, just for example, Howard Myers. I was in Dublin about two weeks ago to hear the Davids in Lucan. Oh, yes. And I recognised the face in the corner, the disco, Howard Myers, on Before the Lads, and I just walked up and he knew me and I knew him. We there you go. We yeah, and it's like as if you knew each other forever. Yeah, we just <laughs> fell into conversation it's yes. like we were only just met before dinner, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. I know it is great. It is great. And like Joe David said to me, it helps the bands and it helps the crowd as well. The, it does you know. because they can connect with their favourite singer 
and and um, yeah, it, it it makes a stronger connection for for probably for both sides. It yeah, does. Yeah. yeah, you've got one table and they're recognising someone at the other table, and it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all good, as you said, when used it when used properly. But I suppose there is an element in every trade and subject that you know there's a negative. You'll find if you look for it, I suppose, you know. But oh, and absolutely, but absolutely. And then as well, you'll, you'll find that there are, uh, sometimes you'll get um, uh, on, on Twitter or whatever, well, Twitter can be sometimes a little bit mad. Um, you just ignore the bad comments rather than engaging, I think, the best. That thing is true, yep. Yeah. We, from them we grow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you exactly. Make inspiration for something, maybe. Um I suppose your s- single, It's Out on Release, is it available on your website or is it Facebook? Is your um, name? It's on, it's, it's actually available on, um, I think, on the Songwriters Guild um, site at the moment. Um, I have I have a couple of tunes on iTunes for sale, but not the, not Climb or The Reason or The Rhyme as yet. Um, I have them on um, the Songwriters Guild site. Right. So they're available right. there, yeah. That's great. I'll put that link onto my page oh, as thank well. You. So thank we you. Can, um, no, that's great. I enjoy chatting with you, Emer. Thanks for coming me, in. Me too, really. And you're very good to have me on. And uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's nice to, to chat with you. Um, keep in touch. Don't be a stranger. I, I will. I will. And say hi to Howard and to Catty and all the gang. I will. I will. Will you be heading up to the Leinster Awards at all um, at the end of March? Um, I do you know I might. I haven't given thought to it yet, yeah. but it could yeah. be. It, yeah, I, it's, it's on. I think it's the thirtieth of March. Um, but that should be a great night. And Cathy was nominated for um for an an, an award uh, for that. So so uh, we said I decided we'd we'd head on up to support her. I might make plans for that now. I like a good road trip. Yeah, and we'll watch out for you across the hall. <laughs> That's <laughs> it, yeah. Start waving a flag. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much, Emer. I'm going to play... It's been lovely talking to you, really. Thanks so much. You too. I'm going to play us out with now. the reason or the rhyme. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.